St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish. I am Martha Garcia Wegener, the Director of Marketing, and I'm here with Father Gary. We have a little State of the Parish update. Father Gary, we made some changes this weekend. What were some of those changes? Sure, so following uh, the recommendations of people that are able to give us such guidance, we allowed uh, people that are fully vaccinated to attend our masses without wearing masks. They're no longer required to do so. And then those people that aren't fully vaccinated or those people that just feel more comfortable doing so are encouraged to wear a mask. We also opened up our holy water font, so we're able to receive that sacramental as well now. And I noticed we took down the ropes between oh. Yeah, and the, and the ropes came down, so people are just encouraged to be aware of how other people are feeling and responding to uh, closeness. Um, and I think overall, Martha, that those, went, those changes went really well. People seem to be treating everybody with uh, grace and with charity. So yeah, Good, we have a really kind, considerate parish. Absolutely. You know? I think people are really nice about everything. So, we recently had a couple people leave, so what are we doing to address that? What's the update on that? Sure, so in the midst of Allie leaving her position of Coordinator of Children's Ministry and Kelly leaving her position as Coordinator of Ministries, we are definitely grateful for their service to our parish and uh, we continue to offer our prayers for them as they move on to those new positions that they feel called to, but even in the midst of that, then that has allowed us to kind of reevaluate uh, who we want to reach out to in our parish. Who are those people that we're called to bring into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ? And so as we've kind of been uh, looking at those job descriptions and those positions, uh, we are now advertising for a, a coordinator of family ministries and a coordinator of ministries and administration. And so those two positions will build upon and expand upon the great ministry that both Allie and Kelly have started here in our parish. Right, and those descriptions are on our website, so if anybody's looking to find out what that is, there's more information on that. Absolutely. Last year, because of COVID, uh, we had to cancel some training that the whole staff is going to. I heard that maybe some people are going to go on another trip. Yeah, so uh, part of the training that we continue to provide to our parish staff members um, in terms of continuing ed and in formation happens throughout the year. And so while well, last year a number of the staff were going to go to that Rebuilt Conference, this year the leadership team will be going to the Amazing Parish Conference, which will be held in Kansas City here in June. And so the leadership team is, is the team that primarily advises me on uh, in my role as pastor as we continue to ask that question of who is it that we're called to bring a, into a growing relationship with and so we'll be spending a few days in kansas city just um planning preparing getting to know each other you know i've been here a year but um just you know now we're able to just kind of figure each other out and and uh, really uh, get down to business so to speak i just love how there's always that growth within the staff to meet the specific needs of our parish. One of my old bosses used to say, after a while you stop seeing the ugly wallpaper, I've kind of stopped noticing the bare walls with no sheetrock in the sure. in the church. Uh, so is there an update on that? Sure, and ironically, you know, a number of people have stopped noticing that, um, uh, while others yet are still asking that question, myself included. You know, that's not the way that we want to leave the church. And so uh, following the derecho storm damage, uh, I had asked our Buildings and Grounds Committee to really figure out where the leaks in the church were coming from so that we wouldn't put up new sheetrock and then just have water spots uh, form after the next rain. So most recently, we've had a number of people looking at the exterior of the church, and we know that we need to do some work um, in the areas where the steel panels, the steel siding above the windows, are attached to the actual um, building of the church. Mm -hmm. And so now we've figured out that that is the problem where water is getting uh, to the inside of the church. And so what we will do is we will uh, be working to get that fixed. And as soon as we're able to get some contractors to get that fixed, 
will then bring the contractors back to the inside of the church to put the sheetrock and the sound coating and all that back up. Wonderful. And I heard we might have a new camera attached to some of that work. Oh sure, with the exposed um, uh, beams on the inside of the church, it's prime time to do some wiring, so we'll be doing a little upgrading to our live stream uh, cameras. Because that's not going away now that everybody's welcome back to church, and right. hopefully we start seeing more faces here in person, but our live stream's not going away. No. Nope. So. Okay, well thank you so much for your time. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Is there anything else you want everybody to know? Just continue to know that I'm praying for you and with you as your pastor, and I continue to look forward to walking with you as we all grow in our relationship with Jesus Christ. Thank you.